Getting ready to play the Tennessee Vols, 7:45 Saturday night. Another ESPN game. I think we're ESPN Saturday night team, so we're, we're getting in the habit of playing these games, and I uh, look forward to it. Uh, Tennessee's a good team. They've uh, they've been losing their close ones. That's why they got a three and four record. I think uh, all their losses have been very close games. Uh, but anyway, they're a, a big, strong team like they usually are. I think they're third overall in defense behind Florida and Alabama in the conference. And they rank a little ahead of us offensively also. So we uh, we got to really play well. we got to play better. We, have a, we don't play real smart and uh, real sharply at times. So hopefully we can uh, we can put it all together because we will, we will need to play a, a good game to have a chance to beat these guys Saturday night. But looking forward to it. Should be a big crowd, biggest crowd of the year. A lot of our guys, uh, young guys, have never been there. So uh, we're looking forward to playing in the big stadium over there and seeing, seeing how we can do against the Tennessee balls. All right. Coach, what is it that Monty Kiffin's defenses do that make them so difficult to score against? What do they do? Well, they play a little man-to-man, -man, play a little zone, <laughs> and uh, seem to be in you know pretty good position all the time. Uh, I think Monty Kiffin's a guy that invented that Tampa two defense. They don't play it quite as much, maybe as they used to, uh, as he did in the NFL. Uh, but they still play a little bit, of, uh, mainly on third downs, uh, is when you see that one. But he's got good players, well coached, and. Uh, you know, they, they play with a lot of effort. Just a, another big, strong, defensive, fast team. <clears throat> and, of course, Eric Berry uh, <clears throat> is uh, their, their playmaker guy. He can pick up more loose balls and interceptions than about anybody in the country, it seems like. And uh, we talked to our guys about that. we we got to quit dropping interception. I mean, for us to win some big games, you know, we, we've got to make the plays when they're there. And that's, that's something we've not done well all year. Is catching the interceptions. Coach, you talked about uh, getting the guys to play smarter and playing sharper. As coaches, how can you do that other than maybe trying to practice a little bit better or practice a different way? As coaches, what can you do to get the players to play smarter and play sharper? Well, you just keep coaching. <clears throat> keep coaching. Uh, the other night we had Andrew Clifford, our backup quarterback, to fire a few balls at uh, the defensive backs and linebackers and so forth. So uh, maybe some faster balls come coming at them. We're trying anything to, to get our guys to catch those those picks that are available. Uh, and uh, anyway, we're we're emphasizing it, talking about it, and uh, we'll see if it does any good or not. After last year's win, you said it wasn't a typical Tennessee team, and you said this year now they're back to being a typical strong team. What's what's the difference this year? Well, they were strong last year. I think their defense was first in the conference, wasn't it, Ken? I thought they ended up first in the conference, so the defense was very good. Their offense really struggled last year. But, uh, yeah, their offense uh, is very good with uh, Hardesty, big, strong running back. He's got a bunch of yards. And Crofton, their quarterbacks played very well most all the games too. So they're uh, they're, they're a good offensive team and a very good defensive team, good special teams. So uh, that was yeah that was sort of unusual having those kicks blocked last week. I can't remember Tennessee getting many field goals blocked over the years, but uh, I guess that big guy for Alabama was was too much in there. Steve, what's it like preparing for a Tennessee team without having Fulmer on that other sideline? I don't think it's much different, really. We just watch the tapes. We don't watch the tapes of the coaches very often. So we just try to see what they do and hopefully give our players a plan where we got a chance to be successful. Have you kept up with Phil at all since he left? Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. He calls every now and then. And, uh, I talked to him uh, after one of our games earlier this year. He, he watches them all on television and so forth. Yeah. 
And I think he wants to get back coaching somewhere next year if it works out. Coach, you've had problems with sustaining uh, momentum in games, particularly SEC games this year. Can you afford to go to Knoxville? That problem? Do what now? Sustain momentum. Can you afford to go to Knoxville? That problem? You may not be able to sustain momentum. You may scoring in the red zone or. It's not any momentum. We've had a whole lot of momentum, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, we've been <laughs> close at halftime about every week. So uh, yeah, I was reading something about, uh, for some reason, we've done pretty well in the third quarter, most all of our games. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know why it's worked out that way, but that's what <coughs> appears to have happened. But again, uh, we, we've not played near as well as we think we can. You know, I, I realize we won some close ones, and uh, even the one last week we had a lot of good fortune, and the ones some of the Kentucky game we got a lot of good fortune. So I, I think all of our guys know, and our team knows, we to beat some good teams that we're going to start playing now, real good teams. We, we've got to be a lot sharper. We can't have all those stupid penalties that uh, we we had last week. I mean, to open up the game and have a holding penalty on the kickoff, so you start on the ten yard line. Uh, one wide receiver had two holding penalties in our first possession, and uh, I mean it's hard to overcome all that and, and make some drives. So we need to, you know, play a lot smarter, more effective uh, if we're going to have a chance. We can't play like that and beat the good teams. It's just it's too hard. Steve, you plan any changes on your uh, kickoff coverage? Kickoff coverage, uh, Coach Beamer may have one or two in there. Uh, we had two guys fall down right up the middle. They, they, they were covering the kick, and they sort of got bumped from the side. They both fell right over each other, which is not good to happen when they're running right up the middle. And uh, obviously that bandy player was a lot faster than our guys when he got up the middle there. But uh, we'll just keep working on it. And uh, Tennessee's got some fast guys. You know, you hate to kick a grounder down there and let them start on the 35 or 40. You know, I was looking at our possessions after kickoff compared to Vandy's, and uh, oh, they must have gained 150 yards right there. Of course, they took one 99 back. Uh, Cully, for some reason, wanted to run backwards on one of his the other night. So uh, we started on the 10 and the 18, a couple, a couple there wasn't many of them. So uh, we, we lost a lot of yards on that kickoff exchange, and hopefully we can uh, boom it down there and, you know, keep them inside the 30. That'd be good for us. When you mentioned.